It's Christmas soon, um, which means something to some people, to, to idiot. <laughs> Not to me, though, because I'm better than everyone else. So, I thought, uh, you know, comics are cool, Simon Bisley's cool, Lobo's cool, and it's Christmas, so let's look at a completely different Simon Bisley comic around this time of the year. This is from 2005, so it's, it's like the 90s Bisley, but like a little bit later on. Yeah, like approximately a few years later on. Um, it's the Authority. I don't think it's Authority versus or anything. It's just the Authority Lobo. It's the Authority are a bunch of superheroes. I don't know. Um, I, I actually learned about this recently in a, a different video by people who look at comic books. Comic books. People who look at comic books. I ordered a couple. Um, only this one's arrived, so I thought we'd look at it together. Um, I've had a quick flick through it, but not looked at it in detail, because I want to look through it in, in the video. Um, I mean, it's Simon Bisley. It's a Simon Bisley comic. It's about 40 pages long. Uh, fuck knows what it's about. Uh, but it's Lobo. It's Simon Bisley. The colours are really nice. Um, that's one thing I'm noticing right away. That's cool. Um, yeah, the colours all over are really good. And then this, we like that. I, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of, of colour-themed pages. So, I mean, this is cool. All the colours work together. Red, they're in a red place, and then it's blue. So it's blue on the ship. That's really well done. That fits. But then, like, I guess that's the window, so it's red outside. The light's coming in, so it's all red. It's pretty badass. Um, plenty of adverts in here to make the comic feel. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, yeah, the adverts pack the comic out and make it feel bigger, but it's, it's actually not. Dead Whale. Um, Cartoon Lad. I like Bizzly's, like silly cartoons he draws. He draws those in quite a lot of his comic books. Um, I, I, it, it's Bizzly, isn't it? It's, it's sort of classic, classic Bizzly. I think someone else did the inks. Henry Flint. He's um, a British, like two thousand AD artist. Uh, but the inks look like they would have, they could have, would have, could have, should have been done by Bisley. Um, Lobo with like a wolf, almost Wiley e. Coyote looking wolf head. Um, cartoon rabbits that he's skinned. Funny, funny, cool, cool, cool. It, it's Bisley at its best. That's amazing. That is. So I just want to make sure there's no glare on the. Okay, yeah, that's all right. Um, also, should I give the, the lens a little wipe? Just to make sure we were at as quality as we... Look at that. Fucking whale. With like a giant squid on it. A rocket-powered space whale. That Lobo's riding. That's really fucking cool. <laughs> I like that a lot. Fucking good shit, man. Um, I don't even care about the story. I, You know, as always... It's the art, isn't it? The art's what counts. Saw that, didn't hate it. It's got Tom Cruise in it, so you know. But uh, yeah, not the worst, worst ever. Digital lettering on this doesn't really, doesn't really fit too well, but whatever. Uh, I like, I love how Bisley will draw cool cartoons, like silly, silly, goofy cartoon shit, and then you know Lobo. You can see he's he's drawn relatively quickly, not sloppy, but like very loosely. There's a lot of energy in it. Um, but then he will take his time and and make like these like more serious characters look more serious, which is cool. Um, and a baby that actually looks like a baby. Uh, fascist rabbits. <laughs> So I think this is like based around Easter and Easter Bunny and they've come somewhere where there's like a fascist regime overtaking the place and it's fascist rabbits and they've got their own like swastika symbols on their eggs. 
Bisley. I like Bisley's, uh, not Bisley, Lobo. I mean, he designed this version of him based on Bisley, didn't he? Um, based on himself. Uh, yeah, I like his, his like, I don't know, Viking wolf skin headdress. These funny little, uh, I don't know, call them conjoined twins with sharing a comb over. It's pretty funny. It's cool. The colours, again, the colours all over are really nice. I, I don't know, I never know the uh, the names of colourists. JD Mettler. I, I don't know who those people are. I know some illustrators. That's who I know. Cool. I mean, the 90s was like prime Lobo time for Bisley. And then this feels like he's... He's loosened up. Like, for instance, this arm doesn't look quite right. See, and you can see, you know, Bisley's working maybe a lot quicker, a lot looser than he did previously. But, like I say, it has that energy. It's not perfect, and that's why I like it. Because it's a fun comic. Look at all this funny Easter Bunny type people. It's fun. It's fun, fun, fun. He hasn't used a ruler for his buildings, which is good because that's fucking boring. And look, they even reference <laughs> that book. I read the book and look, it's still a bestseller in the non-fiction chart. <laughs> that's pretty funny. We like this. Lots of inspiration taken from Bisley for, uh, for the old gun viking. Guns. Guns and rabbits, Nazi rabbits, guns. Good shit. I really like how um, this is purely speculation on my part, but I assume Bisley doesn't map out his perspective. He just goes on the basis of stuff is smaller far away and then it's bigger closer up. So he draws the scene and goes, well, these rabbits will be bigger than these ones. So they'll get smaller as they go and then the tanks get smaller. I can't picture Bisley sitting down with a ruler and masking out fucking all the lines and the grid for the perspective of 1.2.3 point perspective like he just goes he draws he layers it down foreground mid ground background foreground mid ground background and that's all you need to do that's going to be in my my how to draw comics book about perspective is you don't need to fucking ruler everything out it doesn't need to be so precise and perfect you can just fucking get your main planes in there and have some fucking nazi rabbits why not this is cold i guess he's going through like a, a warp a wormhole or something and he's going <laughs> gorilla the gorilla there was a gorilla a prominent gorilla in uh, the christmas special oh, he was in there um a yeah, gorilla again um Eastman, that's funny. Eastman being one of the creators of Ninja Turtles. They're not quite looking like this. I guess this is, this is like the Easter Bunny, I assume. Um, he's got his bitches. We like that. Love, love, love the drawings, man. I love how loose they are. You're so fucking bored of like superhero comics and how pristine and perfect they all have to be because they have an industry standard. And I mean, you know, this arm kind of stinks, but like, pfft, whatever. That That's this much of, of a whole thing, so it's like, if that kind of sucks, it doesn't matter, because even it, it not being great kind of fits into the, you know, the feel of the entire thing as a, as a whole. Cool. Very cool. Busily doing what Busily does. Fucking muscles and women and shit. Action, dynamic poses, gunfights. Do you like gunfights in the old uh, Bisley comics? Plenty of those. Especially when there's Nazi rabbits. Look at that. That's, see, that's so cool. That's exciting, man. This is cool. Really nicely drawn, like cartoons and shit. He gets his head torn off. Like perspective on that rabbit man it's really really cool 
his funny feet and getting like his eye punched out. Like, this is cool, this pose here, all these rabbits going towards him. That's some good shit, man. Good shit. And then Lobo comes out of the warp. It's like a disc. And then <laughs> he's like a an incredible Hulk Lobo. That's fucking badass. This is like Rocket Whale. Oh. I I thought a while ago like it would be cool to see Bisley do a Hulk. He's he's done some Hulk. So it's like, well, fair enough. Um but I think I almost prefer this because it's like it being Lobo, it's more busy. The Hulk is like Bisley's version of the Hulk, whereas this is like almost like a Bisley Hulk, you know. Just count how many times I say the name Bisley in this fucking thing. All the veins and shit. It's pretty cool. Pretty, pretty, pretty cool. And again, the colours all the way through, the colours have been really cool. With the greens, with all the rabbits, the greens of their outfits and stuff. Make a really nice contrast to everything. Um, and you know, green's not a creative color. But even then, it's it's difficult to use green well in comic books, I found. Um, purples and blues are pretty great. Purple blues and yellows. But uh, greens can use them effectively. You know, they've been really well utilized here. It's fucking cool. It reminds me of, I don't know, something... Um, Hewlett did like a monkey devil head or something. Also, I'd love to see Simon Bisley draw the Max as well. I was thinking that this, like, especially these feet, it's quite a Max like shape, so it'd be cool to see that. But then, I mean, I say that it would just look like this, but purple, so it's not really necessary. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. I don't even know what's happening. Um, Uh, oh, okay, so the, the rabbits laid down <laughs> their weapons and they sort of bowed down to this Lobo Hulk. Really love the little the shapes in that little drawing there with the platform and everything. That's really, really cool. Uh, I'm trying to read little bits to sort of get an idea for what's fucking happening, but who gives a shit? All what you wascally wabbits come out and frag and fight. Never mind, I'm coming in and he smashes all the rabbits. They are Nazis or effectively fascists or whatever. It is him Hulk jumping away, eating the rabbits. <laughs> That'd be so fun to draw. Like if, if you were paid to draw a comic and they said, oh, this is what happens in the comic and there's this bit. <laughs> It'd be so cool. Like Hulk, ape, Lobo, eating a handful of fascist rabbits. Ah, oh, so much fun. Spits out the bones. Fuck, that's funny. Fucking cool. Hulk bounce jumping around the city, destroying everything. Again, not a single ruler used, no grids. All the perspective on these buildings is all just out of his head. Like, yeah, that's probably how that'd look. And it works. It works perfectly. Well, not perfectly, but well enough for the context, yeah. And then, <laughs> was this, does he grab all of the entire city up? Trillions of tons of steel and concrete and flesh. Crushes it down into white, one bite-sized package. Only the main man can do this. <laughs> Crushes it, the entire city down into one like stone and then eats it. Although at least one of the writers harbors doubts about it. <laughs> yeah, maybe Lobo can actually do that, but fuck it. He saved the day and destroyed the city and swallowed it. And now he's beating up the Easter Bunny. Cool, man. Fucking busily at his best, I think. I don't, I, like, his hand-painted stuff is amazing. His, his hand-painted, his painted comics are amazing. But it's really cool to see his, like... 
especially some of his more modern comics, uh, like 13 Coins and stuff, is kind of feels a bit lackluster. So it's really cool to get back to this sort of shit. And see where he was in his prime, I believe. Between here and here is sort of prime. Anyway, Merry 